right, hi everybody. Welcome to Wednesday night Zoom. I'm so excited to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. Give yourselves a big pat on the back for showing up. First of all, because here's the thing: when we launch a new product, sometimes we get a little scared about the new product. How many of you have ever felt that way? Whether you feel that way right now about clinical solutions or any other products that have just come out. How did you feel about the Naturally line when it first came out? Did you feel like you knew everything about it? What to do with that oil? And what do you mean it's an exfoliating powder? What the heck are you supposed to do with an exfoliating powder? Remember that? How do you feel now? Pretty good, right? You're probably selling naturally a lot, hopefully, because it is awesome. Um, how many of you have gone to the link and learn for clinical solutions yet? Oh, a few. I'm proud. I'm super proud. Here's the thing. I didn't until last week. And did I read the big pamphlet that came with it when we got it three months ago? Nope. Sorry, who was asking me something? I heard a voice. But oh, then... And you've had, the, you've had the opportunity to use it for the last like, four months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angie and I were just talking about how we didn't read. And then she did a charcoal mask in front of everybody and it made her face react. Oh mm -hmm. no, I didn't just do charcoal mask. I did my, I did the retinol at night. Then I got up the next morning. I did micro in the shower, followed by the peel and then charcoal mask. Oh no. And my face felt a little sore. Oh shit. Uh -huh. I didn't know you weren't supposed to use the skin vigorate brush. Me either. Not my until Nadia sent us a picture of a burn. Uh-huh. So that's a little terrifying for people. They're like, oh God, here's the thing. When we don't know about something and we are scared to start learning about it, it is more terrifying than when we start. Is that not true? About anything, whether it's a new recipe, a new craft, a new anything, before we start, it is daunting. Like I got a cricket and the first time I used it, I was like, what? in the holy hell is this thing. Like it did not, it didn't work with anything in my head of how it was supposed to work. And I couldn't get the program to work with it. And I couldn't get anything figured out. And I had an old school one. So I couldn't understand how to make it work. And it just took what? Practice. It took learning about it. It took a few guided videos from, thank God there are YouTube people out there that you know, I, they don't make any money off me, but you know, the advertising clicks because they guided me through how to set it up. And now I'm totally addicted. So we all have our limitations, especially when it comes to knowledge. And I feel like because of the COVID-19 pandemic and being at home and learning from home and working from home and teaching from home and everything else, I think we are on a little bit of information overload. Would that be fair? Usually when a new product comes out, we're at seminar. And we got to stop by the booth and somebody taught us about it on stage and we got to see the videos. And by the time that we got home, we actually felt like we might actually know a little bit about it. In this case, not so much. The directors got it. We got a great big pamphlet with it, which I promptly dropped in the bathtub. So it was super wet and I didn't really read it. And I figured my skin's not really sensitive. I can throw a Brillo pad to it and it's totally fine. So I'm fine. And I followed the six week thing, but I didn't really follow what you weren't supposed to do and were supposed to do. And it, and it started to terrify me about how on earth am I going to be able to sell this? So I want you to ask yourself right now, how many of you are scared to try it? Anyone? Couple of yes. you? Yes. Okay. Who's super excited to try it? I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Super nervous, but mm. super excited. Who else? Give me a hands up, wave at me. Okay. How many of you are worried about selling it more than you're worried about trying it? Why? Why, who wants to answer me? Who's more scared about selling it? Not sure who, who I should target with it. Good, Sarah, yeah, not sure who you should target with it. Who else has something? Well, I was thinking more of I can't There's see. There's so much okay. restrictions at the beginning because it's a step-by-step -step process. Right. Is that Christy talking? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It only quickly lights up and then I'm like, 
trying to track y'all like the Brady Bunch. Okay, yes. Um, there's a lot of restrictions. So will I be clear enough with my customers? Will they follow the rules? Right? Fair. What else? That my customers won't follow the rules and then they won't like it at all. And then, you know, they'll talk bad about it and it'll be just spiral downhill. Yes. They'll post pictures of scabby faces and be like, look what Mary Kay did to me. But they didn't follow the instructions. Fair. What else? Those are the big ones, right? Yeah? Okay, here's the good news. So it's actually not as difficult as it sounds. Are there people who react? Sure. There's a two-step process. Here's the really cool thing. If they react to the retinoid, they won't react to the milk usually. Like 90% of the time, most people love the calming milk because it is calming. It's awesome on rosacea, on sensitive skin, lots of other things. So even if you do have a return, you're only returning one part of that set. The other good news is what do we have? A return policy. You know what else we have? Sample bottles. That's a pretty cool thing, right? Now I am not a huge advocate of samples, not generally. I, I like me some full size. I'm like, sell her the full size and let her return it. I don't know. I like full size product. But what I would suggest with the small samples is get her to target just one problem area and get her to try it in the, in the eight week protocol. Even it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's regular line. So it doesn't matter if it takes a while. So, you know, when we have the WTF lines right there, you know, the 11s, this, right? Or like maybe you have the people's eyebrow like I do and you might have the lines there. Or maybe you got some like tugging, some, some uh, you know, female anatomy neck, some turkey neck, like that kind of thing. That is where you would suggest that she targets, only there. And see if she sees a result. Here's the awesome thing. You can see results immediately. Directors in the room, how many of you noticed a result the next morning? Skin clearer, skin tighter, skin softer, immediately. So that's really cool. The other thing, like Sarah said, is who are we targeting? Here's the main thing. It's ages 20 and up, men or women, any skin type, any skin sensitivity. Who do you want to target? You are not targeting your sometimes I wash my face and sometimes I use a baby wipe. Those are not your people. You are targeting anyone who has had a Botox party or been to one. You're targeting anybody who has ever done any sort of intense facial at a spa. Those are your people. There are people out there all over the world before Mary Kay came out with this product buying retinol and going through what we call the retinol uglies. So write that down, retinol uglies. And I want you to Google it because it is a real deal. It is like a lizard shedding its skin. When you put prescription strength retinol on your face, your face will peel and react. What's the good news for us? Mary Kay has set it up so that we have the least amount of reactions in the most, in the smallest amount of time. So you can say to your customers, you know, you could buy retinol in other places, like from the dermatologist's office, but they're not going to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. And isn't it amazing that Mary Kay Canada created this system for us so that it is only eight weeks to amazing brand new facelift style skin. Like you guys, it is insane, the results. Insane. On young skin, on older skin, all skin. I've seen amazing results on acne. I've seen amazing results on bronze skin. I've seen amazing results on older skin. Lots of great results in lifting and firming especially. And texture. I used to be a full coverage foundation person. I am now only wearing mineral powder because I get blotchy. I don't get acne, but I get blotchy, especially when I eat dairy, which seems to be the thing I'm eating these days because I haven't given it up yet. And I get all blotchy and sallow and yet no blotchy, no sallow. 
the before and after results from other directors is crazy. I used to have melasma like that, you know, mustache mark from being out in the sun and it almost completely went away in just the one month. Like it's crazy the results for this product. It is awesome. Here's the awesome thing. It goes with every skincare line except for Clearproof. So you want to know a really easy cheat sheet so you don't have to read everything, but I do suggest you read everything. In the first eight weeks, no masks, no exfoliators, no skin vigorate brush, and no extra serums. Nadia, you did the brush too, didn't you? No? Do not do it. Do not do, not do, do it. Brush. No, Stop. I totally no thought brush. it was fine. And then my face started peeling just right here. It was like a whole new nose was coming out just here. So I had the full line of the skin. Like here's all the new skin just coming through. There's a reason it flakes. It doesn't flake because it's dying, drying or dying your skin. It doesn't do that. It flakes because it takes the dead skin out of the way down below and shoves it up. So when you see somebody flaking and you're like, oh no, that's bad, it's dry. No, that's good. It's taking it from way down below that you can't get to, I don't care what kind of exfoliator you're using. It takes all those dead skin cells and purges them towards the surface. That's why you see flaking. So if you go and scrub those off, you're irritating that new skin that's so like a baby. Imagine exfoliating a baby. Tell your customers that. Would you put a charcoal mask on a brand new baby? Probably not. Don't do it on your skin until it's ready. After eight weeks, sure. Just don't do it on the same day as this protocol. That's it. So it sounds really crazy and complicated, but it's really not. What I would really suggest that you do, even though I know Mary Kay wants you to try it before you sell it, but I really think it would be awesome if you did your experience with your customers. Don't you think? Like you sold it to your customers and you maybe created a Facebook group just for them and, and create it so that everybody does it on the same day. Guys, guys. Cut yourself a break here, okay? Don't be trying to remind Susie on Monday and Jenny on Wednesday and like, no, okay? The first time it's all on the same night. Second time, two times a month, you know, all of that. Try it, make it, make a schedule and get them to follow your schedule, not the other way around. Remind them. A good trainer, if you sign up for a training package at the gym, will not be like, oh, well, I guess she's not coming anymore. right? They'll remind you. They'll call you. They might threaten to take you by your hair and pull you to the gym. And there is no gym right now. So people are working out their face. They might get the retinol uglies, but don't you think it's the most amazing time to get the retinol uglies? First of all, we got zoom filters. We have masks covering up half our face most of the time. And a lot of us aren't leaving the house. So who cares if we lizard peel? It's fine, right? Retinol uglies is a prestige thing. Women talk about it. They talk about it at the gym. They talk about it in their shishi groups. Have you ever been to one of those parties when nobody can talk about anything but highlights and Botox? When you just wanna stab yourself in the neck? I have, and it's brutal, but this is what they talk about. Like the Lululemon moms, you know, the ones that are like, they, sorry if present company is offended, but I mean, I don't think any of you are, but you know what I mean? The ones who are like, oh my God, I totally had to fire my stylist. Like she couldn't get my balayage right. And the ones who are talking about Botox, think about how expensive Botox is. Is that risk-free? No, even if you've done Botox a thousand times, you could still have much Botox, like they say in Friends, right? You can still have it go in the wrong spot and get like weird face. You can get lip fillers and look like, um, what's her face on, on First Wives Club, remember? Which is Goldie Hawn and she's trying to drink her drink and smoke her cigarette. 
and it's just humongous. Like it doesn't matter. There is a risk involved in all of these different procedures. And so women who are in this prestige group, which is the people you're really looking for, is people who truly want to make a difference in their skin. That's really the only caveat. Are they willing to work with you? Are they willing to give it a shot all the way through? So you're gonna create this almost like an interview process. Not you convincing them, they gotta convince you that they're good enough for this. Are you willing to work with me? Are you gonna give up during the middle stage? Are you willing to share your results? Those kinds of things. I'm a woman of my word, are you? Do you solemnly swear you will use this all the way to the end before you decide it is not good? Because this is a process. This is not a unique Mary Kay product, guys. Retinoid has been around for a while. There are different companies that sell retinol. What's the difference between this retinol and Volufirm? Volufirm is like, you know when you take a gel cap, a leave or an Advil, right? The gel is designed so that your stomach acids will slowly take that gel away and then the Advil can be released slowly into your system. Get it? That's what repair is like. Has anybody ever had to take a medication under their tongue? Because it goes in fast. Like if you ever have to take an Advan under your tongue, you're like, done in 13 seconds you're like all right it's amazing because it goes right into your bloodstream i'm not advocating the use of non-prescription drugs just so we're clear but that's what happens and so kind of compared to that for your customers this is pure retinol 0.5 percent that you're putting on your face some people might find that they might get red they might get some flaking those are normal things this isn't an adverse side effect. You are expected to do that. It should tingle a little bit. It hurts so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Because seriously, that's what you want. You want a product that if you're going to spend $130 on this or 100, is it 130 or 135? 35, right? 135. So if you're going to spend $135 on this as a customer, don't you want to know it's working? And like when you put pine salt on the floor versus some natural product and you smell that amazing, very strong grandma scented floor cleaner, do you not believe that it was working more than the one you can't smell? Every time, I don't care, right? You just think it's cleaner for sure is. That's why they put the smell in there. Now this doesn't have a scent to it, but because it's going to tingle, because it's going to burn every time that they put it on, they're going to think about how they are fixing their skin. And I want you to remind them of that in advance. This is not a product that you are going to tell your customers to just try and see what you think. This is a solemn covenant. This is a pre-profile drop, a pre-profile, a mid-profile, an end profile. This is a solid relationship and no other company can do that for you. Nobody, not the dermatologist's office, nobody else can do that for you the way that we can. So you have time. The product launches February 9th for Star Consultants, February 16th for everybody else. Mary Kay Canada will be putting up videos and everything else on February 16th for your customers and for your friends. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if you had a target group that was ready to go? that the second you could order that, that you could get it for them. And then you could make yours free because you're selling it to three people and you're getting a little profit, right? And so, you, I mean, you sell it to one other person and yours is free. It's pretty awesome. Rodan and Field signed up how many people because they said they had to sell to three people so theirs would be free. Ours is one person and it's free. Come on, one person. They wants to try it with you, two people, three people, five people, create a Facebook group for them, create a system, create a community where they can be like, so they, if they are tempted, like, I think it was, who said, Sarah, did you say about posting on social media? Who said it about, or Adele, was that you? 
that they might badmouth the company. If they have the urge to share a weird picture of their skin flaking, they're gonna do it the way we directors did it to each other. Going, oh God, do not put on the charcoal mask on the same day as your microderm and do appeal. This is very bad, right? It's a way for people to remember that they can share together and yet it's not affecting anybody else that might potentially want to purchase the product. Retinol uglies are not a secret. In the beauty community, that is a common term. Very common. So I know it might not be to you guys, but it is. So it's not something that is exclusive to Mary Kay that people might go through a bit of an adjustment process to the retinol. That's why it's eight weeks, guys. That's why it's eight weeks. Every prescription comes with side effects. Will somebody maybe have a side effect to this product? Will they find it exceptionally hard to use? Sure, that is why you have a return policy. So if you were like me when I first started my business and like a hundred dollar return was gonna be a big deal, I actually kept a slush fund of profit for those cases if I did need to do a cash return so that I could get the product for the customer right away that they wanted instead of waiting to get product that I'm gonna sell and then give it to her. I wanted to make sure that I had, I always had $200 in an envelope so that I could always do a return at any time. So I really recommend you doing that. The company wants you to be fully informed in this. So if you haven't started Link and Learn, really, it's so fast. It takes about five minutes a module. It is not hard, but because we go, oh no, I have to learn about a thing. It will take me a long time to learn about the thing. And I'm scared to learn about the thing. So I won't open up the thing. We all do this. Directors do it with their production. I'm scared to look. I don't wanna, I don't care. I don't wanna know who's ordered it, who has it. We do it. I know we do it, right, Esther? Esther's looking at me like, yeah, we do it. We do it. We get scared of things. We get scared of brand new information. So I have been talking to Michelle Horlack, and she is um, in production with uh, she had no promises, all right? But I said what we needed was a four by six that we could print or get printed at Staples, maybe put it in one of those little plastic frames for our customers so they can keep it on their nightstands or on their wherever they do their skincare so they can remember what the steps are and what not to use. I would suggest, mm -hmm. my big suggestion, guys, first of all, a laminator on Amazon usually is like 15 bucks, cheap. I would suggest that you take that little chart and you laminate it so she doesn't drop it in the bathtub and you get her a cute little clipboard from dollar store and a little whiteboard marker and you ribbon it up. I mean, that is a $3 gift to go with a $135 set. You get her before picture from her. Not, I'll get it later. She sends it to you. Okay, Messenger's great for this because then you can just scroll up and find it. She sends it to you. Now, we are skincare experts. So we notice things that other people might not notice. They need help to find the parts that are different. So you might have to crop the picture and pick collage and just show, you know, the jowl area on her in two different side by side so she can see that it's making a difference because guaranteed at the halfway mark, she's going to be like, I don't know. Yeah, my skin's softer. I'm not sure. The sample sizes are not enough to do all eight weeks, which is why I suggest that they just try one thing. The other thing I want you to do. And I want you guys to do this especially. The morning that you know you're going to start your retinol process that night, take a picture with no makeup on, not freshly washed skin, just like bare, just woke up skin in the mirror. Take a picture. And then take a picture the day after you put your retinol on. You will be amazed. The first time I did it, I thought I fell asleep with my makeup on. No word of a lie. Because I wasn't so blotchy. It was weird. So it does change a lot to your skin. There Hi, are- Hi, Carol, can you repeat that? Oh, sorry, yeah, Lola, um, the repeat the, take a picture. I'm gonna yes, please, yeah. 
Yeah. So take a picture, you know, the morning that you know you're going to start it that night. Take a picture in the morning in the mirror of your skin when you first get out of bed. Like no coffee, nothing. Just take a selfie. You don't have to share this with anyone. It is just for you. Okay. And then when you wake up the next morning after doing retinol that night, take another one and compare them. It is nuts what happens to your skin. A lot of people are noticing that little puffy areas of their skin have diminished. A lot of people are noticing that their chin is more defined, that their neck is more defined. I would love to tell you that I have been on a diet, but I have not. And yet my face looks thinner than it did in December because I followed the protocol religiously this time and didn't do all the extra stuff this time that I did the last time. But I still saw results when I started it in September and then did the eight weeks wrong. I did it wrong. The other thing, you wanna make sure that their skin is washed and you have to wait five to 10 minutes after you wash it. It's gotta go on dry skin. It can't go on right away. So don't you think that is the perfect time to have a little Facebook chat, have a little messenger call? You got 10 minutes to talk to her about her skincare routine while she's waiting for her face to dry and you can walk her right through it. This is a relationship product more than anything else we've ever sold. And here's the awesome thing. Once they get on it and they're used to it, they never want to give it up. I promise you. You have an opportunity here to make sure that she is using SPF 30. And if you don't have, if she doesn't have a moisturizer with SPF, I think we might have some that you could sell her. Yeah. Why? Because it's baby skin and you wouldn't put a newborn out in this bright sunlight, would you? So that's why, not because it creates sensitivity to the sun because it's making such a harsh drug. It's because all that skin cells are brand new. They baby skin. You do not exfoliate baby skin. You do not serum baby skin and you do not stick it out in the sun. This is bad. That will hurt. It's an easy analogy to remember and really easy to teach your customers. They don't care about the percentage of whatever and the blah, blah with the blah, blah. They don't care. They need to know that you're going to take care of them, that if they go through a process where they might be shedding a little skin, that you're going to walk them through it. You're going to help them just like my hairdresser did when I wanted to cut my own bangs to say, no, don't exfoliate when you get to the flaky parts. It's not about getting rid of this dead skin. You got to let it just help get it, let that baby skin come through. So that is where that cleansing mill or that, the, what, what's, oh my God, the milk. That's where it helps afterwards. You can put this on even over makeup. You can dab it on any dry areas. So if they're feeling a little flaky or a little raw, they can put it on as many times as they want throughout the day. Isn't that pretty awesome? So that's the next step. So then if you're in a relationship with her, she'll feel okay to come to you and say, oh my gosh, you know how you said I would get flaky around week three? I'm getting flaky. What do I do? Instead of, oh, don't worry. You won't have a reaction. It's amazing. And then she has a reaction. She's like, she lied to me. I want you to be super upfront with your customers. I want you to really let them know that this is a prescription strength product. It's going to have great results. It might have a little bit of a time to get used to this product, but isn't it amazing that Mary Kay created a system so that it wouldn't be as harsh as some of the other results out there. Get her to Google retinol uglies. And tell her, those are from people who just started putting retinol straight on their faces. And damn, some of those pictures. Whoo. You remember Samantha in Sex in the City when she gets the chemical peel? And then she has to go to Carrie's book launch the next <laughs> day. And she's like bright red. That is what can, retinol uglies can look like when people just start putting pure retinol on their skin without guidance because they read about it in Glamour that retinol was good and they started just putting it on and they don't have a, a Mary Kay rep, they don't have anybody to help them through it, and look what happens. Okay, why is it eight weeks? Because Mary Kay created it that way so we would have the least amount of reactions in the least amount of time. 
you sell it like a feature. Will you experience some tingling, some redness, some flaking? Yes, because all of that dead skin that's way buried deep inside your pores is going to come up outside. And new skin will be formed with greater collagen bonds. Now, you know, through history, people have done some pretty ridiculous things for beauty. I have had vampire facials. Have you ever seen those? Microneedling? It's where they roll this big, huge, crazy brush with filled with spikes all over you and you bleed. And then they put a serum on to put your blood back in. And then it, it forces your skin to recreate new skin. And it is awful. For two weeks afterwards, it looked like my husband beat me up. And I paid $800 to do it. It was great. In the end run, I mean, it was awesome because that's the thing. Your skin needs a way to refresh. It gets bored. It's an organ. So it needs something that's going to purge all those yucky dead skin cells out and allow for better absorption. So when that new skin comes through, here's the other really cool thing. That new skin is not clogged up by dead skin. It is going to let all of your serums and lotions and potions that you're now able to put on absorb better and work better. So not only will they see results within eight weeks, they can keep using it two to three times a week all the rest of the time. They can use it five times a week if they want, seven times a week if they want. Okay, depending on their sensitivity of their skin, they can find the perfect formula for them. Like for me, I find that I love putting it on my neck and throat, even though it's not, it's supposed to be like based on your own caution because your skin on your neck can be very sensitive. It doesn't have pores, right? So there's no pores and there's no like lipid cells to stop absorption. So it can, it can be really sensitive. And the first time I put retinol straight on my neck, I wanted to claw my neck off with a garden rake. Like it, it can get really itchy. So now I find I can do a one to four, one pump of the retinol and four of the milk and put it all over my neck and throat and no reaction. So you're going to advise your customer and yourself to find your perfect formula after a while because it is based on everybody's skin and everyone will react differently. So first thing, you're going to really pre-profile your customer. You're looking for your customer who has ever asked you anything about age spots, about discoloration, about sagging. Do you wanna know a really easy way to find out? If you do communicate a lot through Facebook or text or anything like that, search those words in your messenger and every message you've ever had about sagging comes up. And you'll find that customer who asked you about that. Anybody who's ever bought a lifting serum, a serum plus C, your repair set customers, of course. Your serum customers, your people who have bought every mask you've ever had. Anyone in a beauty industry, anyone like that. And you're going to say, I really need your help. We're trying a new product. I want to try it with you. And I need a small focus group of people to try it together. And I thought of you because you're a woman of your word and I know you'll stick with it. I'm building a focus group so we can all try it together. And I thought of you because you're a woman of your word and I know you'll stick with it. Yes, you want to share those before and after pictures, those amazing ones from other directors. You know, share anything you can find, but this is not something that somebody can just comment on a Facebook group and you drop it off of their door. This is a personal thing. And the amazing news about that is the very first rule of sales is you build the woman, not the sale. And don't you think that this will build trust with her, whether she likes the product or not? So let's say she doesn't. And she says, you know what? Sorry, I can't do it. And you go, no problem. Here's your money. She's going to come to you for everything, but you know, coffee filters and bananas because she knows that you're going to take care of her. 
So I solemnly swear, ready? I solemnly swear. I, I will spend five swear. minutes a day learning about this new product. Five minutes, that's it. If you want to, if you're an auditory learner like me, um, any of the PDFs that are on InTouch, there's apps that read them aloud. So there's like, it's called Voice Aloud Reader, I think mine is. And you can like even change your accent. So if you wanted to sound Australian or Welsh or whatever, it's quite fun. But I put my headphones on and it's just playing. And I'm doing the dishes or the laundry or whatever. And it's just going. And I start to remember those things. But the very easy thing is dry skin, five to 10 minutes after washing, follow the regimen, do it on the same time, same night, every time. And no masks, no exfoliators, no skin invigorate brushes. That's it. It's pretty easy to remember, I think. It's just when you look at that huge pamphlet or all those PDFs and you're like, I can never teach anybody this. It's not that hard. Did that help? Yes. Like that was my whole goal is just to get you to just be okay when it's okay to order it for you, that you're okay to order it for you, first of all, because it is magic. Like. Carol, I have to share something too, because yeah. I had a very different experience because I'm an eczema girl. So I was like afraid the whole time that I was just going to have this face full of eczema. And it does tingle a little bit at times, right? And so then I'm all like, oh, here it comes, right? And so I didn't really see any change at all. And to like, even at the eight week mark, I thought, oh, my skin looks a little smoother. And then as soon as I started going back to using my serum C and stuff, which has always been a miracle for my eczema, uh -huh. all of a sudden, like overnight, it was like whew, goddess. But I really didn't see a whole lot, except that I was feeling kind of blotchy and I was feeling very unsettled for the whole time and then it didn't help that I was like not following the rules and doing all that but <laughs> I would encourage everybody to just like I actually told a customer today I she asked if we had samples and I said no I'm not doing that because you won't see like based on my experience you won't see results no. like right now she did think oh it doesn't work I said, I'm looking like, this is a three month commitment with me. Um, if you want to use this and um, like, I would encourage everybody just wait it out. Cause then all of a sudden it's just like, Whoa, you know, you just, brand new skin. I don't even know when it was. And I was just like, Holy man, I look good. I love yeah, it. So it was really good. But like, I, I didn't see any results. See, so I did on you. I, I, just, I yeah. saw results here. Did you? This was more lifted. Yeah. Your chin was more pointy. Not like this. Like, yeah, not like a. We should all do those before and after pictures, you know, like put cotton balls in your face like this so that it's all like. Oh, God. And then be like, look what happened immediately. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt and earrings and my hair is the same, but it's different. Totally different day. I'm going to put my two cents in too. So my experience was totally different from both of these experiences. So. I actually, the first time I tried it, when we first got it, um, I got really frustrated. Okay. So I'm one of those cases that got super pissed off and I stopped using it because um, I'm allergic to most of our sunscreens. Most of our combinations of sunscreens really irritate my skin. And I break out in these massive, massive blemishes. Oh gosh. And so I was like, I got frustrated because every time I kept trying to do it and using sunscreen, I would break out. So I had to talk to corporate and I had to get some like systems in place and figure out what we needed to do because in order to use it, you do need to use a sunscreen because um, it will burn that baby skin, like Carol was saying, right? So what I have actually found has been working is the MK Men's Moisturizer because it's not as emollient yeah. as the day creams with the SPF 30. It's the only one that has an SPF 30 that is not that same rich texture, okay? So, I mean, you guys, like Carol said, it is really a process of playing with your customers and seeing what they're gonna, it's gonna be a trial and error, right? So um, just adapting with them what it is that they need, okay? Um, 
the first time I was not the first. So I'm, I'm in my re retinalization process. So I'm doing it again because the first time I gave up, I got mad. So don't get mad. Just figure out a solution. I was like, Oh God, now it's coming out. And my consultants are going to know when I need to do this. So I was like, okay, what do I do? So I, I started to panic. So I, I got the answers that I needed. Just if you need answers, corporate has the answers. We have been learning and we will be able to help you. Um, so I'm in the third week of my re-retinization process. And so first night, second night, put it on our second week. I, I felt nothing. It didn't feel like anything. It's really the irritation for me was that is the, the sunscreen. Yeah. However, I'll tell you this one, the third night of my second week, I washed my t- face too vigorously with my face cloth and I put my moisturizer on and it burnt like a bugger. So you do want to be gentle. You do have to think about that skin as very new, fresh skin. And I don't even feel like I rubbed it very hard, but all in here, I must've just like, you know, not thought about it. And I did that and it, and then I put my moisturizer on and hurt. So it hurt that night, then the next morning, but that's really the only pain I've had. I, and I did have that peeling of skin and my husband was like, what's on your nose? And I'm like, don't touch it. Don't rub it. And like, just leave me alone. I'm shedding. I'm, just, I'm my snake skin is shedding. So, you know, it really is a process and, and working Damn with there. your customers, Damn because there. like I said, my experience has been totally different than both theirs. So you really want to build that relationship and talk. Yes. And like, same with even the micellar water and the cleansing pads, like trying to, I was scrubbing too hard and then same. it really hurt. So just be super gentle. Like I'm using the naturally cleanser just on my fingers, like super gentle after the eight weeks, it's totally fine. It's just so, in that first process. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, like I'm using the foreign one still mm-hmm. and, and, and corporate told me that was okay. Cause I had oh, to totally, it but it's just, you got to be gentle. Just not like I would normally wash my face. Right. And, um, yeah, I mean, work through the process. We have the answers. If you get the breakouts of blemishes, we, we know the solutions. It's taken me a bit to understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but it seems to be working. And so I'm only three weeks in and I'm, I already noticed the difference. It's insane. You guys, it's insane. It is like, even just, even just like the, the texture above my eyebrow, because I raise my eyebrow all the time. So then they're starting to be those little fine lines. Those are gone. So it is crazy. Yeah. Mine's in here. I can see the brightness. So when I don't have makeup on and I look in the mirror, I'm just like, damn, I'm good looking today. Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny though. Like you don't think like that. And then you're like, whoop, Hello. The other thing is you guys, you want to put on your eye cream first because A, it's going to create a barrier so that that can't get to the eye area and B, then there's no retinol process on your fingers so that it doesn't burn. Okay. So put your eye cream on first and make sure your customers know that it doesn't go near your eyes. It does help a lot in this area. So like it can go on the sides, like where the crow's feet kind of lines would be, but it can't go underneath your eyes. Cause it will burn so good, so bad. Okay. Um, oh, and the, um, I was going to say the naturally stick is like your best friend during this process and same with that milk and even the oil, the oil is awesome. If your skin starts to feel really dry and flaky during this, put the oil on. It's awesome for that. I use a naturally cleanser cause that's the cleanser I use. Like I switched when we started naturally because it, it does work better for me, but, um, that an intense moisturizer oil free hydrating gel works great too. It doesn't burn. So it's really just the masks and exfoliators, anything exfoliating. So think the brush is exact, is an exfoliator that you have to avoid and just be super gentle with your skin because it's like brand new baby skin coming out. And the vitamin C, did you mention that? Yeah, don't use that. No I serums. E, there's too much high dosage of vitamin C. Um, and they and Desiree eye patches you're not supposed to use in the first eight weeks. I do, but I do them in the morning and I don't have any reaction. So I mean it's a custom choice for people. Yeah, I just felt it like I could not take it anymore with the eye patches and they were flaking and all around my eyes was flaking. It was just a bad news. You needed them so bad. That's what you told me specifically not to. Corporate told me not to. 
to, yeah, it says not to until yeah. your eight weeks is done. Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't hurt and it's not burning you, I mean, I'm, Definitely just, don't I'm not do willing the to same try. Night as you do the other one. Like don't do it on the same night. I do it on the opposite morning lots of times and it's fine, but it depends on your sensitivity. So don't advise your customers to do it. Tell them to give it up for eight weeks. They'll be fine. Yeah, I would just super dry. They can put extra mole night cream under their eyes, or the and then after their eight weeks, teach them how to put six eye patches on at once. Like exactly, Laura. that's awesome. I do that all the time, right there and here and all the places. Okay, any other questions before I let you guys go? You're gonna try it. You're gonna get a few customers involved with it. You're going to be patient. You're going to celebrate Mary Kay's choices in this because they have really done their work to make sure your customers and you are taken care of and that you look good all the way through. Think about it from a company perspective. If you have to convince your customers, be like, they're selling it to us and they don't want us to look ugly because we won't sell nothing. Right? So they're taking care of us through this and they want to make sure that you look good all the way through. And that is what your customers will feel. So be patient with it. Be candid with your customers. Be like, I wash my skin too hard with a washcloth and now it burns. Things like that. That is important for them to know because it's not the product's fault. Especially if you don't read the instructions like us. And it's okay if you mess it up because you can just start your process all over again. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. I have a draw. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Draw. I always forget draws. If I owe anybody prizes, do not be shy to be like, hey, you owe me a prize because I suck. Okay. Yeah. One sec. I'm just flipping the camera. All right. Thank you, Desiree. You're welcome. You taught an amazing class. Yay! I think that's Nadia's girl, eh? Who is it? Vanessa Delorier. Say that again. Vanessa? Yeah. I believe uh, she's Nadia's. No, she's actually May Armour's. That's right. She's an adoptee. <laughs> yeah. She's almost her own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I she was from right. the end of the country. <laughs> Once, the, soon she'll belong to herself. Just kidding. Yeah. You all belong to us. <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. Mwah.